Thank you for joining us for Your Vote Matters, our 2021 mayoral candidates forum presented by Kirby Center and the Third Action Film Festival. Calgary is within the traditional territories of the people of Treaty 7 region in Southern Alberta and is also home to Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Each time I hear or say a land acknowledgement, I'm reminded of how many more steps we need to take toward truth and reconciliation. We're reminded of the history of the peoples who were here before us, of their importance and their stories, particularly as told by their elders and how we can create a better future together. My name is Mark Kolke. I chair the advocacy committee of the Third Action Film Festival Board. We felt our viewing platform and vision, guiding an age-positive cultural shift, together with Kirby Center's reputation and reach within Calgary Seniors community made them a great partner for this event. We wanted to connect Calgary voters with their candidates for mayor to hear what they have to say about issues affecting older Calgarians. Please welcome Keith Callback, who manages marketing communications at Kirby Centre, to explain our process and to tell you the questions we put to the candidates. We asked all candidates for a three-minute video response to a series of questions relevant to Calgary's older adults. Thank you to the 20 candidates who agreed to take part. The questions are, do you support Calgary's age-friendly strategy? Given the sentiments of Calgary's aging citizens and in view of the age-friendly policy, what programs are you prepared to initiate and support to help seniors be active and engaged in their communities? Social isolation among seniors was a concern before the pandemic and is now reaching a crisis point. How would you address having seniors more engaged in their communities? Surveys show that approximately 90% of people intend to stay in their own homes during their senior years. How would you lead city development to support this? The videos submitted have not been edited, except to remove extra space at the beginning or end of the video. The videos were recorded by the candidates, and the candidates did not have access to each other's messages. The opinions expressed are those of the candidates. The choice, however, is yours. Hi, good morning or good afternoon, my fellow senior citizens of Calgary. My name is Ian Chang. I am running for mayor in this year's Calgary's municipal election. For the, now I am told to answer some of the questions that are presented. I do support the Calgary's age-friendly strategy. And the program that I prepare to initiate and support the senior citizen to be active in their communities. First of all, it will be the internet access. I will be asking teenagers of junior high school to go to their neighbor, nearby senior citizen center to show or to teach you all how to use the internet in your common area or to use your cell phone and to teach you how to do the texting to your grandchildren. And the second program will be exercising, like for instance, doing Tai Chi. Yeah, some simple form of one or two, just to strengthen your legs and to prevent falling. I have ever taught Tai Chi in one of the retirement home. It was a good response. Coming to the second question, it will be, how would I address having a senior citizen to be more engaged in their communities? I would encourage more dance or art groups to go to the senior home in a weekly basis. They can follow all the precautionary procedures and they can bring along their children, preferably teenagers, to learn how to socialize with the residents. The third question would be, how would I lead the city developments to support the senior citizen to stay longer in their own homes during their senior years. I will introduce a program to encourage engineering students to inspect your house for free, and then to write to you a report of recommendation on how to fix the problems. And the students can gain the experience in the program. You all can benefit with the free consultations. If, pos if possible, or if the problem is minor, I can introduce the clients of a drop-in center 
with building skill to repair your house for a minimum pay. So then your house will be kept in the perfect conditions. Less worried means you're having a better and happier life. Thank you. Bye. I'm Jan Damery, and I'm running to be mayor of Calgary. One of the key aspects of my platform is that everyone is included in our recovery, and that includes our seniors. I have been raised to respect and include and seek out the counsel of my elders. It's actually one of the reasons I'm running for mayor, because my grandfather believed that it was important that I be a part of the political process. I also know that as a society, we are richer when we are able to allow our elders, and I think of them as elders, to age in space and age in place. And I don't think we are doing very well at this. I think the pandemic has really shown just how vulnerable our seniors are and how isolated they become, can become in this current society that we have created. So as mayor, I am committed to ensuring that we are developing our communities where everybody actually feels engaged and inclusive. It's from basics, like are we paying attention to snow clearing so that everyone with a mobility challenge, including our elderly, can walk on the streets no matter what season. Um, it's about ensuring we've got activities and programs that help engage. But we've got to ensure that we are creating spaces where people can live and there are choices in our communities that our elders can stay in the communities that they have long lived and contributed to. Um, there's some great ideas about how we even locate elders on top of schools. So you get the mixing, right, of young children with elders. Uh, I love hearing about the programs where in apartment buildings, in fact, maybe what we do is incentivize students who also can actually support elders who are living in their own apartments. I have personally seen this with my mother-in-law, who we actually, because of dementia, and aging, had to put her in, an, in a, uh, an assisted living complex, and she just shrunk as a human being. And I remember one of the last visits where I walked in, and I walked in and I looked at the situation, I said, this we have to fix. It, it takes the dignity away from our seniors, and uh, my under, you know, what I have witnessed is in isolation, when we warehouse our elders, they lose their dignity and they lose the essence of who they are. This is not the society that this and what we need to build together. So I am committed to supporting our elders and ensuring that they remain no matter where they are in their age spectrum, that they are contributing and valued as contributing members of our society. Thanks very much. Hi everybody, my name is Jeff Davison and I'm running to be Calgary's next mayor. You know, our senior population is increasing in Calgary and supporting our seniors through an age in place lens is incredibly important. We must continue to support and scale up Calgary's age friendly strategy through programs such as the city's property tax assistance program for seniors. I'm also committed to our seniors home maintenance program, which ensures seniors have access to in home support for things such as light housekeeping and yard maintenance. So think of things like grass cutting and snow clearing. You know, I hear from so many seniors at the door that social isolation is an incredibly important issue to them. And I remain committed to Calgary being an age-friendly city where we end social isolation. That means supporting our seniors through programming that focuses on learning, connection, and getting involved. So programs where seniors can learn about technology, connect through recreational activity and events, and get more involved in our communities. Remember that good neighbors equals good health. So take some time and engage with our seniors by saying hello and sending a positive message. Sometimes it's simple outreach that changes the direction of a day for someone. I personally remain committed, as I have for years on council, to building connected communities where it's easy for our seniors to walk in a safe environment to local coffee shops, grocery stores, and parks. Remaining connected to community with supporting senior-friendly infrastructure is vital to a healthy community for everyone. Hello, my name is Jeremy Farkas, Ward 11 City Councillor and candidate for mayor in the upcoming city election. Your voice in the future of our great city is important because you have made Calgary what it is today. But I think that the biggest issue facing older Calgarians these days is affordability. Taxes and fees have gone up well beyond inflation or increases to pensions, leading many seniors to wonder if they can afford to stay in their homes. 
Meanwhile, City Hall spends massive amounts of money on pet projects. Instead of adequately funding essential services, Council is performing costly experiments like defunding the police. And community recreation facilities that we rely on to stay healthy are closed, or in the case like Richmond Green Park, sold off. I value accessibility and adequate snow removal. For example, why are we spending millions of dollars on bike lanes when sidewalks and streets go uncleared for weeks after a snowstorm? Many city-owned community centers also lack accessibility. As a city councillor, I've pushed to do better in each of these areas. I've also led by example by turning down the generous city councillor golden pension. And as mayor, I will work to make Calgary affordable for every single Calgarian. My name is Jeremy Farkas, and I'm asking for your support. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brad Field, candidate for mayor of this great city of Calgary. I want to take a moment to recognize October 1st as International Day of Older Persons. Whether you've lived in Calgary all your life or you're an immigrant from another part of the world, you are a part of the fabric of Calgary. You've helped build this great city. You've raised families, built careers here in Calgary. Your contributions are endless. Thank you. Being a supporter of Calgary's age-friendly strategy, but also being open-minded to new ideas will be at the forefront of any discussion we have here in the City of Calgary. Having you at the table will be the key to success. When we speak about isolation, we have to acknowledge that it's been compounded by the effects of the pandemic. When I think of my mom over the last 18 months and the challenges that she's had around isolation due to health issues and staying connected with family and friends, Making sure that our seniors stay connected both in person and as well as access to information is key to a path forward here in Calgary. A good example is a one-time grant that was given to the communities of Mahogany and Copperfield to connect their communities and create an environment where neighbours were helping neighbours. And for those seniors that are still capable and wanting to stay in their homes, the city will support all efforts to make that possible. And for those that are transitioning out of their homes, our partner, Silvera for Seniors, will continue to provide a diverse selection of affordable, safe housing with wraparound services to our older population. Making sure that we have all the stakeholders and our seniors included in the planning is key. You help build this great city. Your voice matters. Go to votebradfield.ca to find more information. And if you'd like to connect by phone or by email, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Hello, Keith, Mark, and all members of Kirby Center. Thank you for inviting me to share my platform and respond to your questions. I would like to start by saying I am also a senior and have used the service of Kirby Center and participated in many social dancing events. Of course, I relate to the issues that concern seniors. Some of you already know me since I ran in 2017 civic election and received lots of support from Kirby Center's members. Now I'll start with the first question, which is, do you support Calgary age-friendly strategy? I support this initiative. More specifically, on helping seniors to be active in their communities. For that, I say, as a person who has more than 20 years experience in civil engineering, urban planning and management, it will be one of my main objectives to provide more affordable housing for seniors. Why? Because this is one of the main essentials of having a dignified and active life. More affordable housing will be a part of my city plan for the coming 50 years or more. The second question was about social isolation and what programs to help seniors to become engaged. One practical solution, and again, based on my credential experience and knowledge in urban planning and transportation, I will make sure that we will build the most comprehensive green line system of transportation in order for seniors to be able to reach different parts of the city using a fast, efficient, and affordable system based on their own income. This is where my experience in transportation comes handy. 
For the last question about the majority of seniors like to stay in their own homes, I will be using a new management system allows residents to have their own say on every important issue. I will be instructing counselors to spend more time in their communities, educating, informing, and listening to the people and honestly representing their wishes. There will be no decision made merely by a bureaucrat or a counselors who think they know better for their community. In addition to that, I will work with the police to make sure seniors in their homes are protected against vandalism, abuse, and scams. As you can see, there are more than 20 people running for a mayor. It's up to you now to compare and find out who has the most qualification to make it happen for you. I also invite you to visit my website to learn more. Thank you for listening. Hi, everyone. I think the key to being an age-friendly city is to make sure that we understand our seniors have different needs and different desires of how they wish to live in our city. And it's important to make sure that while we go about the business of having an age-friendly strategy, that we also provide the various types of opportunities that people seek whether they wish to age in place in their home because they love their community and all of their friends are nearby or they wish to live in a congregated manner so that they have more people to speak with and dine with and really enjoy their life with we have to be able to provide those options in our city and i think it's all about listening to people i've had the incredible pleasure of being at chartwell residences at being in different manners silvera facilities and just speaking with a lot of the seniors in our city to find out what it is they're looking for the other important thing about the age-friendly strategy is making sure that we're making proper public infrastructure investments in things like transit. It's going to be incredibly important to ensure that everyone in our city, but particularly seniors, have good access to be able to get to their appointments, to be able to visit with friends, to be able to attend religious services, all of the things that make people feel like they're a part of community. So it's important to ensure that the strategies we have are matched with capital investments. So in addition to making sure that we're providing strong housing options for seniors in our city and giving them strong public transit networks so they can get about easily, we have to make sure that any programming we're providing is informed by their lived experience. That means making sure that we are age friendly and inclusive in the way we appoint people to our boards and commissions. And we need to make sure that we've got good community facilities that allow seniors to have the programming that they desire in the communities they live in. It's gonna take a partnership and we have to listen to people to make sure we get this right. On behalf of the Kirby Center, welcome to this virtual forum for candidates for the position of mayor in the municipal election to be held on October 18th, 2021. Kirby Center is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the support of seniors and their lives in the Calgary and surrounding areas. Our mission is to support older adults to live well in their community. Part of participating in the community is to be able to participate in elections, and we encourage you all to do so. There are over 200 individuals putting their names forward for the position of mayor, councillor, or school trustee in these elections, and we thank those individuals for their dedication and commitment to the democratic process. At this time, we also encourage you to participate in that process by exercising your right to vote on October 18th, 2021. Thank you. Hello, Calgary. My name is Paul, hallelujah. I'm running for mayor this year. And in response to the questionnaire that we've received, I want to present to you a set of ideas that my mother, Kishwa Qureshi, who is 75 years old, um, forwarded to me. So as far as support for seniors, uh, my mother has indicated she would like well-situated public benches, secure and accessible public toilets, 
maintained and well-lit sidewalks, fully accessible public buildings, public and commercial services and stores in neighborhoods close to where we live. Now, as for intervention and living at home, my mother has indicated that she would like promotion, prevention, care and rehabilitation, and she believes we should recruit older adults in their own living environments and build community partnerships. Ideas and programs for seniors and caregivers. One, volunteer at a soup kitchen or a shelter. Two, group exercise, walking clubs, gardening clubs, art classes, life story exercises. Three, volunteering, which improves quality of life level of physical activity, lowers mortality rates, and promotes healthy aging. And finally, if you participate in either caregiving or as a senior in some of these programs, you will gain confidence and be part of the community. I hope you've um, been blessed, as I have by my mother, and I hope that we can work together to see these and other programs uh, that you want implemented in Calgary. God bless. Hello everyone, my name is Zach Hartley and I am running for mayor in this year's municipal election. Now I'm 27 years old, I'm born and raised in Calgary, Alberta and I'm a graduate of Mount Royal University. I've started and sold several businesses as well as traveled the world and now I am running for mayor because I don't like how our tax dollars are being spent and instead of writing a letter or protesting in the street, I've decided to try and change it and that's why I'm running for mayor. Now today I've been asked to answer a couple of very simple and easy questions starting with do you support Calgary's age friendly strategy and to do some research on that strategy I've actually gone to the city of Calgary's website and I have read through every single document and every single PDF that relates to this strategy and as it stands right now I do not support it and the reason that I do not support this strategy is because I don't think it goes far enough in supporting our Calgary senior citizens. One example of that is in the transportation and mobility section of the strategy. The city of Calgary says what are we doing and they label three different items starting with promoting and facilitating access to a range of transportation services promoting walking as a mode of transportation and promoting resources to support older drivers. Now that sounds amazing, but unfortunately none of those are actionable and measurable items that we can actually look at and say this is the impact that they've made in the community. I think the city of Calgary is too focused on promoting instead of actually putting in measurable items that we can implement in order to help the city of Calgary and our senior citizens. So as it stands right now, I have gone through the entire strategy and I don't think it goes far enough in supporting our Calgary senior citizens. Now, in order to solve this problem and readdress this strategy, we need to find a solution for it. And unfortunately, it's probably not gonna be the 27 year old mayor candidate that comes up with some silver bullet. It's probably also not gonna be the 30 or 35 year old city planner that's sitting in a downtown office. What we need is solutions from senior citizens for senior citizens. And so if I am elected, what I plan to do is develop a council of senior citizens on a volunteer basis. And those senior citizens will decide what we do with the Calgary city resources that are dedicated to improving the lives of senior citizens. It is not going to be the mayor. It is not going to be the city planners. It's not going to be anybody else deciding what we do to help senior citizens. It is going to be senior citizens because I don't have the solution for you. I don't have the answer to a lot of the questions questions that are being asked of me, but I know that you do. You have suggestions, you have solutions, and you have ideas that can improve your life, and those are the solutions that we need to implement. And in doing so, in building a council like this, we can empower you to make your own decisions and use the city resources in the way that means the most to you. So if you vote for Zach Hartley, it's going to be a vote for senior citizens in the city of Calgary. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you so much for watching this video. Hi, this is Larry Heather. I'm a candidate for the mayor of Calgary. Uh, this is my third time running, twice against Nahed Nenshi, and then now to a field of some 27, 26 other candidates. Uh, there's many things in the age-friendly strategy that are unachievable. It's a city document written by people who have no uh, restraints in, in staffing, 
or how many people, how many millions of dollars go into this strategy. And I, I think that's wrong. I, I think the more promises you make uh, to adhere to such a, a, a strategy, the more you're going to disappoint people. Uh, information access to services. Why would they have a one-stop, one application access that gives everybody participation in all the services and plugs them up uh, to hinder those that really need that particular service? Uh, community support and health. I think it's very important, but uh, we have to realize that a lot of neglect is going on in the health uh, system because of political ideology pressing particular views of, uh, of disease and epidemics that are really sapping our health system and taking away from necessary surgeries, putting it on uh, investigations into people who have no symptoms, so-called case counts with no symptoms. This makes no sense. Housing, I do believe the best strategy is to keep people in their housing or if they're in uh, assisted housing here, we, we have to make sure that housing is maintained properly. We can't just keep having a, a whole bunch of unused apartments and then building new complexes after new complexes. We need to make sure that people that are using those housing advantages truly qualify for them. Uh, response to elder abuse and prevention. This is the sanctity of human life ethic. It goes all the way to how we treat unborn babies, to how we retreat, treat the, uh, those who are handicapped, those who are infirm and elderly. And uh, I think we need to go back to God's standards of people being made in the image and likeness of God and that needs to be taught in our social services and in our universities. Transportation and mobility. Uh, much more could be done if we would stop running these huge budget uh, buses, these flexi buses up and down Elbow Drive and other places empty most of the day. We're using a lot of resources to prove an ideology that people should be on buses instead of on cars, and we're wasting a lot of transit money. A lot of this equipment is wearing out. Uh, I thank you. My time is up, but I thank you for giving me this opportunity to share with you. That's Larry Heather for Mayor of Calgary. Thank you very much. Concerns of seniors throughout our city, communities and neighbourhoods is something I want to address and I'll tell you why. In 2013 a document was formulated called the Senior Age Friendly Strategy. This was issued to the municipal government and it was hoped that within five years they'd accomplish everything in that document. They didn't. By 2020 there was still a lot of issues still not addressed. Should I be given the opportunity to be your next mayor? Then I will address everything else that is left to do in that document. I'll fully support it for the next four years. I can't say I can accomplish everything, but I can tell you I will advise council that this is the direction we should be going. I have three other things that I want to bring to that document, which will substantially help the seniors of our city and also every other citizen. One is a new police program called a Police Community Support Officer Program. This is going to take some time to implement and it has to be formulated by our police chief. If you want to look at that, it's on my platform. Go to the police department section of my platform and there's a link there to that document. It'll give you an idea what it is. It's community policing at its best. It's been happening in Europe for over three decades. It's nothing new. I want to bring that topic to our city and to our citizens. Another one is the Calgary Community Social Services program. If you imagine 311 but on steroids. Uh, this is another program and also there's a job section to that. All these are on my platform. The other one is transit passes. 
all seniors, I want to advise council that no longer should you have to pay for a transit pass. They're going to be free if I have my way. Now, why should you believe what I'm saying? I'll tell you now, I'm no politician. I'm definitely no businessman that wheels and deals for personal financial gain. I'm a military man. I always have been. I joined the army at 16 years old, rose through the ranks to commissioned officer. I know what leadership is all about. And this is all I'm bringing to council, a different style of leadership to bring together 14 people to do the best thing for our communities and our city. I have a pin here, it's called One Direction Calgary, and it says, people, community, city. I wanna change the financial focus of our city towards the people, the community, and then our city. I'm not gonna go on. I, I hope that I can gain your support and your vote. If there are any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on my website. I have no problem answering. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. So, what do I see? Mayor Elect Pond here. So, as of a bit, I've been getting emails. Questionnaires, all these things, you know. People asking me what my gig is on a lot of the funding and where it's going and how we can change some things. What are the biggest issues right now in our city, and like you may not know because we're generally a younger city, is elderly care. This is a huge topic. Very huge. Yes, you might see the glamour shots of the elderly being taken care of in these hospices and these care facilities. But what you don't know is the elderly in my city are living next to goddamn impoverished conditions. As uh, with my food bank, which isn't operational right now, but I still get phone calls. And I get phone calls from everybody. And I ask for some of them to speak to me, and one has. And I won't give no names. But I have it on some information that there are elderly in our city that are, are overgoing procedures like transplants and whatnot, and at the same time getting charged double rent for a month. Now, I'm not sure what came up to the double rent charging. It might have been maybe they didn't pay, but something doesn't seem right here that uh, our elderly in the city, like we're talking built the goddamn city for you and I to come and destroy or do something with, are struggling in goddamn impoverished conditions. So I don't know what to say to that. It's like, how do I feel we can help the elderly? Well, how about we merge, like, you know, play schools, preschools, with the elderly community, and we build them a village. Now you have knowledge. You have a 60 year freaking gap of knowledge. You have volunteers, free base volunteers. You just covered two things. Why are we not doing this? I'm just saying, how can we help the elderly? Well, for starters, let's give them goddamn free transit. Or maybe let's build them apartment buildings near a mall or somewhere where they don't need to use the goddamn transit in the first place. Because let's face it, you barely know that there's a lot of old people in the city, but that there is. That they state that after 65, they're in their house all the time. So how can we make their senior homes staycations for them? But I mean in a way with a reality that we can actually fund it. Less than impoverished conditions, man. Just think about that. Does grandma live at home with you guys? Does grandpa? How do you feel knowing that it's kind of impoverished conditions when they're kind of struggling on their own? And they're good, they're proud people. And goddamn they should be, this is Calgary. We're all a bunch of proud people. Something needs to be done. I'm just speaking out where it breaks my heart to know that uh, there are elderly in my city struggling like this. That's all I'm saying. We can do better. Let's do better.
I'm Corey Lanterman. I'm running for mayor of Calgary. I am a fifth generation Albertan. My great grandfather actually died during the Spanish flu of 1918 right here in Calgary. I do believe seniors need more programs, especially during the pandemic time, but we will need more programs after the pandemic is done. Your current council failed seniors in spades. Council failed to act properly to protect the most vulnerable. Council should have opposed Kenny and locked our cities down right at the start to save lives. Council is responsible for the deaths of many seniors, friends, and other citizens of Calgary. Australia cities followed who, who protocols and locked down and saved lives, their jobs, and the economy. That was the proper way to act. Council members running for mayor have shown they value their money over your lives. There is no way that the stampede should have gone ahead. Even Edmonton was smart enough not to hold the Klondike days a month later than the stampede. I value your lives. I value the vulnerable. And I promise to protect those lives. I only mark it on Facebook. I'm trying to be like the young generation using social media. But that is because I can't get access to normal media. We need to encourage seniors, seniors to live at home more. We can do that by making sure that fixed income seniors don't have to pay property taxes. We can encourage seniors to cohabit with other seniors and offer more services from home. I have won numerous Snow Angel awards and accolades for helping out seniors. I do know that we are the last generation of Canadian culture dancers and we enjoy the community aspect of dance. The younger kids have missed out on that. I have written books on that subject and hopefully someday they will pick it up. We are different than the American show off dancing that pushes people off the community dance floor. Your generation knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, I hopefully you will look me up on Facebook, UE Corey Lanterman. And UE stands for United Empire Loyalists. I am a ninth or 10th generation Canadian. Uh, if there's any questions, contact me. I'll be glad to answer them. Take care. Spread the word. Thanks. Good day. I'm June Reed, board chair of the Third Action Film Festival. Third Action's mission is to entertain and educate through film and film related events, the narrative around aging. This unique collaborative event in partnership with the Kirby Center focuses on seniors' issues. It's our sincere desire that these video presentations give you an insight on each candidate. We invite you to review these videos, again at your leisure, to determine who is attuned to the needs of seniors like us. Thanks for watching. We hope this project helps you decide on who to vote for for mayor. Now, be sure to cast your vote. Thank you. Hello, I'm Zane Novak and I'm running to be Mayor of Calgary October 18th of 2021. I have an extensive history in business, both small and large, but I've also put over 20,000 volunteer hours into the nonprofit community here in Calgary. And a lot of that was with the Kirby Center. I was on the board for eight years and president for five. And this brought me into direct contact with our senior citizens, our aging adult community. And it is such a dynamic and vital part of Calgary. We realize that we continue to need to do more in this sector. There are many great organizations out there that are doing fantastic work, such as the Kirby, but this is a sector of our city that needs more attention, more funding and more support, both provincially, but certainly municipally. It's my goal to work with agencies such as the Kirby Center, Silvera, Caria and others to be sure that the programs are there that help our senior citizens. We know that isolation, and this was certainly proven again during COVID, is one of the most damaging situations our seniors can face. We need to do more to reach out to them, support them. We also need to be sure that we're doing such things as snow removal, strong, clean, safe 
public transportation. These are all things that our senior community need. And I feel in many cases, our city currently is failing in all of these. We have the ability to do much better, but the best way to do this is to work hand in hand with agencies that are in place and with our communities. The strongest communities really are those that go from cradle to retirement. That's what brings strength, that's what brings harmony, and it also is a sharing of knowledge and information between all demographics. When we are able to have our seniors age in home in place, that is the healthiest outcome, not only for them, but for our communities. I want to work with all our agencies to be sure that this is an opportunity that the vast majority of our seniors can enjoy. And the city can lead the front role in this by being sure that there's transportation, that there's outreach programs, and that no one is being left behind. I will advocate for this. I'll advocate for agencies like the Kirby Centre and others to be sure that our senior citizens are always appreciated, respected, and a part of what we know is the integrity of our community and the health of our community. Thank you for taking the time to go out and vote. Remember, be informed, but get out to vote October 18th. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Teddy Obona, candidate for mayor of this great city, Calgary, come October 18, 2021. Thank you, Third Action Film Festival, for inviting me to participate in this conversation about our seniors. Of course, I will lead and address having seniors more engaged under my administration, and as well, I would lead the city development plan to support this initiative. And I'm going to do this by making sure that we expand on the current age-friendly document that we have towards seniors on those six platforms, making sure we bridge all the gaps, making sure seniors in this city have access to information and service that they need. I want to use this moment to thank all the seniors and veterans for the service that you have done in the past and currently doing with different organizations volunteering. I've been listening at the doorsteps and, and what I hear is that seniors feel not engaged. They feel that they have completely lost confidence and trust at the current councillors at the city of Calgary due to West Coast spending. They're not happy with the way things are going. They deserve more respect. I would make sure that you have this information and quick access to services making sure the community support is there for you, for your health and well-being. You have clean and affordable housing. You're going to be participating and be included in every decision-making process at the city of Calgary. And of course, I will support the frontline workers, the EMS, Calgary Fire Departments, the police, providing support and social workers that assist them, resources and support that they need to take care of our seniors and, and mitigate the elderly abuse problem that we do have. And of course, making sure that you have mobility, access to transportation. So I'm going to expand more on the handicap access. I don't want seniors to be waiting for so long or book or booking an appointment a week or two weeks prior, waiting for the handicap bus to show up or during winter times they are stuck. I want to provide more of those handicap buses for you guys to go out and about and come back home or to a senior home where you choose to reside. I just want to thank you guys and I promise you one thing. I'm going to be a voice for seniors in this great city. I'll bring you to the city hall once every three months to have a coffee or teach chat conversation with the mayor. And we hear from you. Your experience, experience in this city, in this country is invaluable. And we need to listen and hear from you with all due respect. And as well, when I use this moment, my heart and prayer goes on to all the seniors that passed on during this pandemic. May their souls rest in peace. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Hi, my name is Mizan Rahman. I'm running as a mayoral candidate in Calgary. So Calgary's population is aging rapidly due to longer life expectancy low birth rate, the impact of COVID-19 are reshaping urban lives around the world. 
seniors are disproportionately affected by the pandemic. So the seniors and those with an underlying health conditions face a higher risk of severe illness and a higher rate of death than people the younger age group. So the physical isolations of seniors from their traditional social network, like including family, friend, and care professional has increased the risk for social isolations, anxiety, loneliness, and which can impact negatively on a person's physical and mental health. My program will be to establish a senior club in every community association in Calgary. The senior club will be funded and oversee by the city of Calgary. The marginalized senior will be addressed to their community associations. I will build more retirement community is to focus on health and wellness. The seniors will be encouraged to participate in the senior club, which include a fitness center, polls, weekly religious service, and karaoke music by giving the incentive by our city like a free meal in a restaurant, it is it. In the senior club, there will be senior daycare where the elderly can help each other in various ways. In addition, I will encourage employers to hire senior to tax benefit for their business. Since my vision is to make greater Calgary by adjoining the surrounding cities, our transit systems need to be reviewed for the older people. The older people, those who have incontinence problem, need to be classified for their transit service, like providing taxi voucher. For all of the project I have, I will make sure it has an ace-friendly culture all over the city. Thank you very much for watching. First, thank you Kirby Center and Third Action Film Festival for reaching out to me and providing a platform so I could share my message with the individuals that utilize the Kirby Center's resources. To the individuals who utilize Kirby Center's resources, I promise more ideas are coming your way. Ideas in the way that we should ethically be treated in times of a pandemic, how we build supports with your families, and how we collaborate with each other to make care plans that supports individuals who may be dealing with a variety of or specific health conditions. Ideas on how these supports can be given in a kind, caring, responsible, and ethical way that involves all age demographics getting together using their individual skills and helping out responsibly in the communities that they live. Ideas on what choices you ethically have with medication administration and how to deal with populations with increasing underlying conditions. I would advocate for resources available to those wishing they could live out their last years of their lives in a healthier and more active way. Eating, sleeping, urinary and bowels, I'll talk it all. My name is Jeff Rainey and I work at a subacute center located by Rocky View Hospital, the hospital I was born in. Just kidding, I was born in the Holy Cross. That one got blown up in case you didn't know. The Kirby Center and Third Action Film Festival asked me to answer three questions and they would present the answers to you. Well, here we go. I hope you have the questions because I only have three minutes. I would support changing all the funding that goes into the guidebook for new communities to focus on a new Calgary age-friendly strategy. My focus for the next four years would primarily go into seniors and how they live in their communities. Seniors, which is Calgary's most vulnerable and growing population, would finally get the care it needs. In the city, I would refit sidewalks to wheelchair, 2WC wide, in the most high traffic areas based on age and density and increase money in snow removal. This would serve a multitude of purposes. I work in a subacute center that focuses on musculoskeletal injuries. Main thing is to walk for the most part. This holds true even without surgery. A more active population is a healthier population and we need to get healthier. We're not getting any younger. 2WC wheelchair wide also gives more room on sidewalks, social distancing, easier to clean off, more room to break dance, whatever floats your boat. 
Concurrently, I would have community centres give out volunteer hours to teenagers that walk seniors in their communities. The seniors would work through a social worker and the teenager would work through the community centre. These Calgary Vouch for hours would apply to college, university, and the city would encourage all business owners to reference. I would lobby Jason Kenney and the governing federal party hard to deal with the social isolation problem by focusing on people's issues and problems, not their contentions. No more band-aid type solutions, solid infrastructure and roads and buildings in the city. Families getting back together, figuring it out together. Back to your freedom in your golden years and support to the most vulnerable so they can live out the rest of their lives with as much or as little security as they like. I would also work with uh, the Calgary Metropolitan Region Board to combine resources to get their senior populations to the hospitals and lobby AHS for more ambulance and transportation for surgeries and appointments. I believe our aging population is a challenge larger than the city of Calgary itself and other people depend on the resources situated in our city of Calgary. I would like Calgary to be a responsible city that other cities can rely on and visit often. It is time for fiscal responsibility. It's like we laughed at the guy that said bud budgets will balance themselves and then we followed along. We need focused direction. My mission is you. Let's grab this bull by the horns. Yeehaw. Thank you for your time. Good afternoon. My name is Virginia Stone and I am running to be the people's next mayor. I am non-conforming innovative and forward thinking. I am neither left nor right or central for that matter and I simply refuse to be placed upon a dysfunctional linear political scale. We need to stop pitting the left against the right and we need to start getting things done. We need to take care of our people, we need to take care of our planet, we need to take care of our animals. We need to green this city. We need a safe, sustainable, modernized Calgary moving forward. I do support Calgary's age-friendly strategy, but I do feel that it needs more work. We need to expand on these ideas. We need to look at having communities that are solely focused on the golden age. We need to have affordable housing in these communities. We need to have community centers, organic gardens, access to food and services and churches. We need walking paths and parks installed. We need to give an environment that is truly safe and that you can truly socialize and thrive in. This is something I do not feel that our city has. In regards to other questions, including wanting to grow old and age in our homes, I believe we all want that. We all want to keep our independence and live our the last of our days in our homes. And sometimes that's not possible. And when that's not possible, and we need to transition into another environment or into another living circumstance, we need to make sure that our elderly are safe and protected and that they have a voice and that they have access to reaching out to support when and where necessary. These things are incredibly important to me and I believe that these things can actually be implemented quite swiftly within our city. But we do need a platform. We need to open up the channel of communication and we need to hear your voices. I am here. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear what you need, not what I think you need. So please reach out to me. Ask me any questions that you have and I'd be more than happy to answer them. And let's create change together and let's create a positive future for everyone. And I please ask you all to vote. Let your voices be heard and vote for somebody who's going to represent you and your needs in this next election. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time today and I look forward to hearing from you all. Bye-bye. My name is Shaoli Wang. I'm running for mayor. I fully support Calgary's age-friendly strategy. While the long to-do list saddens me, we all know what the right things are, but every so often we found our first step was to pass a high hurdle, the budget hurdle. Our sole source of revenue is property tax, which has been hiking annually for quite a while. 2019 compared with 2003, 
we had a per capita municipal residential property tax increase of 129%, four times of the inflation of the same period, which was 32%. Still, snow shoveling stays unsolved. Garbage connecting extended to bi-weekly. Why? Compared with 2003, between 2011 and 2019, municipal property tax above inflation and population growth accumulated 4.6 billion, while city's salary above inflation and population growth accumulated 4.8 billion, a $200 million in right for service improvement or decline to be accurate. We therefore must secure frontline service, cut pay and expenses, shed off over snobby. For seniors and for all adult children, I made the commitment to 1. Lower municipal residential property tax 23.5%, lower municipal business property tax 26% by 2025 from 2019 level. Fully unload the downtown core property tax burden. Bring our lost 6,000 small local businesses back, along with 60,000 permanent jobs. Help our adult children back to work and their lives back to normal. Two, initiate a $20,000 seniors property tax credit in the belief that our seniors should not be liable to grandkids or great grandkids education tax. Three, hold the Greenland Arena deal and the CMLC's expanding and renovation projects. Four, hold up 10% Calgary Police Service budget and ban it with crime rate reversely. Push the CPS to work with the city towards community policing so that to lower crime rate. Five, ensure timely snow shuttling. For more details, please go to www.shawleyw.com. Thank you. My name is Shawley Wong. I'm running for mayor. Hello Calgary, this is Grace Yan and I'm standing for mayor for the city of Calgary. I've been provided questions by the Kirby Center, which I'll continue and um, answer. And the first question is, what programs are you prepared to initiate and, and support to help seniors be active in their communities? So I know that there are good programs right now for seniors and I'm, I know that we could actually have more programs to help seniors uh, be more active. <clears throat> um, my dad participated in some of these seniors programs before he passed away in April. And he would participate in community arts um, with other seniors, um, like art projects. And there's um, sort of uh, physical activity type programs for seniors to get together and walk or do yoga in some of the community centers so community center type programs for seniors but also programs that will help seniors get around um, where they need to be transportation type programs so that would help seniors um, get to various activities, um, and that would also help them be active. How would you address having seniors more engaged in their communities? So if they had, um, you know, volunteer programs for seniors, they would be more engaged. Um, I know they love to volunteer and, um, also, you know, um, various other type of work, you know, like greeters, they can be greeters, um, and they can have a mentoring program, help other seniors as well, and that would help them be engaged. 
How would you lead city development to support this? As mayor, along with city council, we need to look and engage seniors and what they need and the various programs that could support them uh, from, from income support to housing, again, to various activities, uh, transportation. Uh, these are all very important areas we need to look at in order to support the seniors and their needs because it's not all about the business. It's, it's an obligation we have to take care of the vulnerable and the seniors and make sure that they're taken care of. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Larry Matheson, CEO of Kirby Center. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for uh, joining us today and participating. Uh, we'd also like to thank all the candidates for uh, submitting a response to, to this event. And a special shout out to uh, Third Action Film Festival. We, we love working with uh, Third Action as a, as a partner and we're glad to come together to collaborate on this. Uh, most of all, we'd like you all to go out and vote on election day. Older adults issues are important in Calgary and we want you to get your vote in. So to bring this event to a close, I have some thank yous to make. So firstly, to you, the audience, thank you for attending today's event and educating yourself on where the candidates stand on seniors issues for this mayoral election. Also, in advance, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to vote. It is a right that many people do not take advantage of. A huge shout out to all those that were involved in bringing today's event to life. It takes many man hours, many of those being volunteer hours, to bring an event like this to life. So to all the volunteers and everyone else who was involved, lots of love from me. Lastly, but never leastly, a huge shout out to our presenting partner, the Kirby Center, who we always love working with and who share our values and believe in our mission to redefine the narrative on aging and guide an age positive culture shift. I hope you enjoyed today's event and I'll see you at the polls. You've now heard from 20 candidates. One of them will likely be elected our mayor on October 18th. Please review their comments and cast your vote.